Hey, it's Rob with Home Tech Specialist, and today we're going to go over some pieces of equipment that you need to have in your network toolbox. And these mainly are for tracing and testing cable, which is you know usually the first thing you're going to be doing. So I thought I'd just go over these things real quick and kind of show you show you how they work. And we'll start with the tone probe tool, which is sometimes called a fox and hound, and this is for tracing your cables. So we're going to say you've got, I, I've ran into this a lot in, in offices and in homes where you've got a wall plate, it's been terminated on the back, the cable's connected and it goes back to your structural cable box or in a closet or garage or wherever they go and then they're just clipped off on the end, they're all coiled up and uh, stuck in the box and it's up to you, you get to do it yourself. So, or even if they're undone in the wall, let's just say that for a second. Let's say you have a blank plate. There's, there's no holes in it. You pull the hole off and you've got a clipped cable inside there. So in that case, you know you're going to need to put a jack on it. So just do it. Uh, get yourself your keystone jacks, put them on, put it in the wall. That's the first thing you're going to have to do in that anyway. Normally it's done. It's done at construction, but if you have to, don't try to trace these things without putting a jack or a plug on either on just one side. That's all you need. Anyway, I'll kind of show you how this works. Um, the tonum probe is always going to work in two pieces. Um, there's many brands of these that you can use. Um, you know, Klein probably makes some of the best stuff out there. This is some cheap stuff. I think I got this at uh, Home Depot. I'm not really sure, but um, but this is the tone generator side of it so you know you can use these uh, plugs for doing bare wire like uh, coax or a two or four conductor cable uh, that you can just use these alligator clips and just clip them straight onto bare wire and then that's going to send the tone through. Uh, in this case since we're doing Cat5 or phone, it works either way since that's what this is, we got a phone uh, plug on this side and then I always, this doesn't come with it, but I keep a Cat5 jack uh, with it to be able to change it from male to female. Um, even though it is Cat5 on the coupler, and this is a phone jack, it doesn't matter. It, it will fit in there, and it will send the signal through using two of the cables, uh, two of the wires that are inside your Cat5. That's all you need. So uh, anyway, once you do that, get it connected, then you're just going to turn on the tone generator that sends a tone through um, and then your uh, probe or your wand is going to pick it up on the other side so when I hit my button when I get that wand down there that's when you start hearing the tone um, so I'm going to plug this cable in now if this was coming f now I would do this from your room so if you're in the room obviously you might not have the jack or a um, a plug, you might have a jack. So in that case, you'll just take a little, a little uh, piece of patch cable and plug it in there, plug it in here. Okay, that gives you your connection. Once that's done, then you go all the way across the house into your, uh, into your box and where your bare wires are, and you use your toner probe, and you just keep, you keep rubbing it through all the different uh, cables until you start getting a tone. And that's how you know this is the cable you're looking for. And this does not have to have a jack on it. This can be clipped. Um, it will still work. And, and at that point, you're going to label it, um, which we'll talk about that real quick. When, when you label your cable, you can just write right on it. Um, maybe give it a number if you're going to use a, um, a patch panel. Because when you, when you wire to a, a patch panel, which has, you know, 24 or however many um, jacks on it, it's going to be pre-numbered, right? So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right, all the way up. So when you wire to that, you'll know that one is going to be number one, right? For in your living room, it's number one. And um, so you'll wire that. It's already labeled now on the, cap, or on the uh, patch panel. You can take something like this, which uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a... It's just a sheet of sticky numbers and then I would put a number one right on the thing to label the the jack 
and then that way it's now labeled. It's number one on this end and on the other end in the, in the closet. So that's kind of how you'll do that for temporary purposes. You could just take a piece of masking tape or scotch tape and wrap it around there and write number one on it or write living room or however you want to do it to, to just get you through the labeling process. Once they're labeled, now you know what's what. Now once you get that part done, the next thing is going to be terminating. So you're going to either terminate into a patch panel like we talked about, or you might just put plugs. You might just put plugs on and go straight into your switches from, from there. It doesn't really matter. Um, the patch panel can be a little cleaner, but it doesn't matter. So then uh, the next thing is, after you get those terminations done on both ends, so now we've got jacks and plugs, or plugs on both ends, uh, then we're going to test them. All right. So And I would do this as you go. I wouldn't just do it all and go back, you know, just when you're done with one, go test it. Um, these testers are cheap. I think I paid 10, 12 bucks for this, um, but there's a ton of them on the market. They're really uh, not hard to find, okay? Um, all testers come in two pieces, so you got your, your dummy end, which, you know, goes on, um, actually, I'll use this. This will go, I would plug this into the the room, right? So I would get a little patch cable to go from here to here, probably something like that. And then, uh, right, so that's in the room, and then you go into the closet and you get, you take your patch panel and plug into that. So, um, so I would either use another little patch cable, like this guy here. That's why I keep this uh, patch cable inside this. It didn't come with it, but I keep it in there to be able to, because this, this is female. And a patch panel is obviously female, so you would need you would need uh, one of these. So anyway, once you get in there, you're gonna plug in. You're gonna hit the button. You see you got eight lights across the top. Those tell you all eight cables are or all eight wires that are inside your Cat5 are sound, and that's what you're looking for. If if one wasn't um, you know if it wasn't getting continuity or pass through on on any of them. The light, I think it's yellow on this one. I mean, they're all different, but it's either yellow or it might just be dark, like it doesn't light up. But that's your indication something's wrong and you need to fix it. So at that point, um, you know, there's no way to magically find which of your eight wires are wrong. You just cut it off and you do it again. So like when you test a wire um, or you test a cable that you put in, you know, from the from the room to the to the panel and you get a good test on it, you know it's sound and you can, if it's for a client, you can just, you can leave. You know it's good. You didn't have to plug a computer in and try to get online because you know it'll work when, it, when they do it. So that's it for that and um, I hope it was helpful. You know, I, I've thought about maybe doing a, a, a video on terminating jacks and plugs. But there's so many of them out there. You can just Google or you know do a search on YouTube, and you'll find a ton of them out there. Um, if you need any help with that, you know absolutely let me know. But um, that's it for now. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks.